Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and once again I welcome all of you to BSP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today I am going to continue with the same topic which I have left over in the previous session, previous video that is the wrapper classes in FX in Salesforce. In my previous video I have explained you how to create a wrapper class and how to send an email using wrapper class. In today's video in today's video I am going to cover a new topic that is how to display uh, records from two different objects in a single table or in a single page block table or a data table using wrapper class. So if you have gone through my previous video I have clearly explained in that video what is a wrapper class and what's the use of wrapper class. So once again once again I am going to cover it up that a wrapper class is a class whose instance are collection of other objects and it is used to display different objects on a visual force page in same table and or if we'll talk about in a simpler word wrapper could be thought of as a temporary holder or buffer for information lying across different table queried via a SQL so through a SQL query we'll be going to extract the data from a from an object and store into a list and that list will be going to use to display the data in a data table or in a page block table so as I've already told you about the business scenario that I would like to display the records from two different objects. So let's see the data model first. So that's my data model. In this data model I have used the candidate object, payment option, payments, review, position and or job application. It's a recruitment model. It's a talent management application which is created in Salesforce and I'm going to use the same data model to display the records from position on from candidate by using a wrapper class in a single page block table or in a data table. So in this example I have used position and candidate so from position I am going to display the position name and its location and its maximum pay and from candidate I will be going to display first name and the last name of the candidate within the same table. So let's see how to do this in Salesforce by using a visual force. So that's the wrapper class which I have created. So that's the wrapper, that's the, that's the way how to create a wrapper class. In wrapper class I have de defined the number of variables which I would like to display in a page block table or according to the number of columns. So and it's a constructor which will, ex which will read the value, get the value and store in the variable and these variables will be going to use or by using these val variables will be going to display in a page block table or in table on a visual force page. So let's see how to do this. So switch to Salesforce first. So in this Salesforce first of all I will be going to create a new visual force page. So let's create a new visual force page apex slash and uh, wrapper example 2 I give a name wrapper example 2 to my visual force page and in this visual force page first of all I, I will be going to create a controller custom controller and name wrapper example 2 that's the name of the controller then I create apex colon form in this form I create apex colon page block and in this page block apex colon page block section and then I would like to create apex colon page block table and this table will get the value from a list and the name of that list is LST wrapper string. That's the name of the list. And I create an instance for this wrap. After that, in because it's a page block table, so we need to create columns. So I create columns here, fx colon column. And uh, I copy paste this because I want to create open and closing tag. I would like to add the functionalities between this. So I open and 
by default it's a self closing tag so I change its default functionality and header value is equal to action and in this I add fx colon input checkbox this is just a checkbox so in my previous videos or in existing videos you can see that how to use this checkbox to display the specific records or how to send an email to specific users so in this example we are not going to use this checkbox I just add the checkbox I'm not going to add any functionality on the checkbox then I add the columns so the columns which I want to display first is the position name position name and uh, we are going to use here apex code. output field we can use output field or output text but I'm not going to use it I'm going to display the value directly so I write wrap dot p name and uh, that's the position name so I copy paste position name then I want location so so the same variable we need to define in our wrapper class the variables which we are using here p location p name these variables we have to define in our wrapper class then I want maximum pay and p dot max pay then from candidate first name and last name so I use candidate f name and candidate L name and here I use CF name candidate first name and CL name candidate last name and I save it so it will throw an error message because the controller does not exist so I create a controller and in this in this controller first of all I will be going to create two list so one list will extract the data from the position object and another list will extract the data from the candidate object so I create list position underscore underscore C because it's a custom object P list is equal to new list position underscore underscore C then we need two list one two this list is for candidate candidate and uh, I set it to C list and this will read the data from candidate and I need one more list that list will extract the data and store into that so that list type will be the wrapper type wrapper class type so we need to define a wrapper class and this wrapper class will extract the data and store into this list LSTW is equal to new and list wrapper then I need to define the function which we have used here value list list wrap string because this will get the value so we need to define this so I create this function public list this will be a return type will be wrapper type and I will get LST so we can copy this LST wrap string the same function we need to use it so I write get LST wrap string and here we are going to extract the records so from and store into list so P list is equal to I write a SQL query I write name comma I want location underscore underscore C comma max underscore pay underscore underscore c from position underscore underscore c so what it will do it will extract all the records means it will extract the name location and maximum pay from position of all the records and stored into this list same we have c list so again i write a sql query select i want first underscore name underscore underscore C so before writing these <coughs> values please check your API names the available API names for the uh, date fields in the objects 
so in my case they are first underscore name underscore underscore c and last underscore name underscore underscore c from candidate underscore underscore c then i would like to store the values into this list lstw this list the wrapper list we have created so i'm not sure how many records are there so i write i is equal to 0 and i write p list dot size so it will store all the records and then that's the function for add new wrapper p list i dot name the based on the index so i copy this because we need to store name location and maximum pay so name location and maximum pay and change their location underscore underscore c and this will be max underscore pay underscore underscore c comma c list of i dot first underscore name underscore underscore c comma so i'll copy paste this to save time so i simply copy and paste it and instead of first it will be last underscore name underscore underscore c and we need to end this so i end this with two brackets and sign and once it will store all the records into this it will return this list to the this page block table and this page block table will display the records but now next is we have to create our wrapper class so i create public class wrapper because up till now we haven't we didn't create any wrapper class so i create this wrapper class and in this wrapper class i define the variables public string p name the same variable we have we we have defined here so we can copy paste them so p name and get and set the value set their properties so i copy this because first name sorry p name then location then first name then last name i didn't copy for maximum pay because it's not a uh, it's not a string it will be a decimal so i used here p location and uh, we have here cf name and cl name so cf name and uh, cl name and one more public decimal and we have used here p max pay so we copy this and paste it and get and set the value and now when this when we are trying to save the record into this list it will call this it's a basically it will call this class and it is a constructor so we need to create a constructor so i create a constructor wrapper and in this i create variables p name comma string p location comma decimal p max pay comma string cf name comma string cl name and it will save the value so i write this dot p name is equal to p name this dot p location is equal to p location this dot p max pay is equal to p max pay and this dot cf name is equal to cf name this dot cl name is equal to cl so that's all the coding part is done now let's save and test it whether it works or not so once i saved it you will see there are no errors and now let's check the output so when i check the output you will see the records are there so we have got action this is action so we can do specific action like we can display 
specific selected records or we can delete records or we can update record so then we have a position name location maximum pay these three field these three columns are coming from the position object and these candidate first name and candidate last name these values are coming from the candidate object so this is how we can use a wrapper class to display the data from two different object into a single page block table or into a single table so that's all in this video i hope this video makes you clear about wrapper class what is a wrapper class and how to create a wrapper class in a program and how to use it if you have any questions if you have any queries you can visit our website or you can you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on salesforce till then have a nice day ahead goodbye